Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be seizing opportunity that presents itself each and every single day within the markets. You guys see my nose? That's from the sunburn that I got in Florida. If you're not on the free Discord, go join it. It is linked down below. People that are active in the Discord will get free uh, admission to the paid Discord whenever I make it. Other than that, let's get into the opportunity that presents itself every day within the markets and you either are one, too scared to execute or two, fear that there will not be another opportunity that comes along within the markets and you have to seize the opportunity that you think exists at that moment. So within the markets, from the the minute it opens to the minute that it closes, it is constantly moving. Whether it is just in a range or it is in an expansion, there is always a time within the markets that it is moving, right? And I'm doing this in my car because it's windy outside and I don't have a mic yet. I need to order one and then we'll be uh, outside, but it's too windy right now. Anyways, the opportunity within the markets will always be there, whether we are chopping or expanding. Now, you do not want to be in the markets whenever we are just barcoding, right? That's what you learn whenever you're a beginner. The market is barcoding, right? We just call that chop now. But you think that the market has to give you an opportunity at that moment so you are executing on it. You aren't giving the market time that it needs to present the opportunity that aligns with your strategy. You always have to be aware of what the market's doing, what phase it is in, what it is doing at that current moment. That and only that will give you the chance to understand when the next opportunity that will be a good opportunity within the markets presents itself. You can't always be making yourself believe that what is straight in front of you is the only opportunity. The market is open five days within the week. Five days, that is one, two, three, four, five different days that can present you endless opportunities. So whenever we are in that phase that the market is barely moving, why are you subjecting yourself to try to get into the market when it isn't giving you the best opportunity that is there? Every single day that you wake up, every single day that you get out of bed, there is an opportunity that you can capture whatever endeavor you are in. It doesn't have to be trading. In this case, I'm talking about trading because that is what I do. If it is whatever whatever your profession is, whatever your dream is, anything, every single day that you wake up, there is an opportunity to be captured and seized. And you have to take advantage of that. Now within the markets, you have to wait for that opportunity to be aligned with your strategy. If you are not waiting for that, you are just turning belief into opportunity. The belief that the market isn't gonna present the opportunity that you want for yourself and your strategy and the money, right? The opportunity presents money. The money gives you the belief that that is the only opportunity that is present, even though there is none there. You have to understand that within the markets, it is always moving, like I said at the beginning of the video, which means there is money being moved around, right? Because the market is full of billions, trillions, millions of dollars, every second, every minute, every hour, there is money being moved. Now, within that money being moved, your mind is controlled by these little candles and numbers on a screen. Now these little candles and numbers on a screen and that red and green or whatever color the buy button is, whatever color the sell button is, presents to you a problem if you let it be a problem. Because the problem within all those numbers and all those candles is the chance of you losing money, right? Within risk, there is an equal and greater reward. If you aren't willing to take the risk, you will never receive the reward. Same thing with crypto, right? This is the first time that I have invested within crypto. And right now, I, ju I literally just messaged the Discord that I'm up 40% on one of my crypto positions. The only, actually two crypto positions I hold, but the, the main one that I have a big bag in, I'm up 40% on and nowhere close to selling. And why is that? It is because I saw an opportunity within a 
space that I had no knowledge of until I researched it, right? The market is, the market will hurt you if you have no knowledge of it. That is where opportunity is born. The, that's, what's, that's what is great about life, right? There is opportunity each and every single day. The mindset in which you capture that is all up to you. Is your mindset, I'm not good enough for this, or is it, I will take this no matter what? The opportunity, I'm saying that word a lot because life is full of it, and the markets present it each and every single day. Now, you have to understand the bad and the good opportunities. The good opportunities are whenever each and every single thing in the market lines up with your edge, right? The market will give you false hopes. The market will give you unrealistic hopes. And you have to understand that you have to pick your plan. Every single time that you click that buy or sell button, your plan has to be ingrained into your head. And if you don't have a plan, that opportunity that presented itself that very second will cease to exist and it will hurt your portfolio instead of bring the abundance of money that is in the markets into your por portfolio, right? The money that comes to you is because somebody else saw an opportunity that wasn't aligned with yours and you just took their money. It's as simple as that. You are either on the right side or the, the wrong side of opportunity. Is your money gonna be going into the right or is the wrong gonna be going into the right which you would be aligned with the right? The right opportunity, that is. Because the money that is transferred from another person's portfolio into yours means that you saw an opportunity that they did as well, but you were correct and you waited. That person saw something completely different and they were wrong within the opportunity that presented to them. So the message I want you to understand from this video is there's two kinds of opportunities within life and within the markets, right and wrong. Now, if you wanna be on the correct side of the markets, that means every opportunity that presents itself with the markets means that it has, it absolutely has to be aligned with your edge. If it isn't, you do not click that buy or sell button because that will just drain the money from your portfolio and there will be endless opportunities within the markets. That is why people fail within day trading. People fail because they think that the one thing that they see in the markets is the last thing they see will see in the markets or it will be a while before the next opportunity arises and they have to over leverage, full port, do stupid things because they need to maximize their profits from that singular position and that is totally false because the market as I've been saying presents endless opportunities every second every second your mind has to be entangled in this endless loop of numbers and candles and that's why you have to be on your feet if you wake up the last minute before like you're waking up at 9 29 uh, New York time that is where people are fucking themselves over because the market opens at 9.30 and you're, gonna, you're not prepared. You have to be prepared if you wanna enter into the markets. Day trading is a hard job and if you are not on your feet, you will get ran over. Now, the next opportunity is the bad opportunities. Whenever the market doesn't align with what you, what you want to see but you're still clicking that button, a lot of people fail because they think that that is they they think that they have to take a trade that day, which is not the case. I've went days, I've went a couple weeks without taking a trade. February was one of the slowest months for me. That's because I knew the opportunity was not good and I knew that March would have been a lot better. Therefore, I've almost taken as many trades in March as I did in February and we are only halfway through. 
That is the opportunity that I resided for myself. I want the market to align with each and every single thing that I set out as a plan for myself. And that is the difference between you and I. I wait for the market to do what I want. That is why there's endless opportunities for me. Because you think that that one opportunity is the only one and your belief is that you have to over leverage and maximize your profits and you will hit that one home run trade and then you will over leverage again and wipe it all away. That is the difference between good traders and bad traders. The good traders wait for the opportunity and then seize on that opportunity. The bad traders think that everything is an opportunity and they get crushed whenever they execute their positions and then they're finished. They're done because their belief was that was the only opportunity and there was no more coming soon or within the day, the next day, or soon after. So you have to understand that there's gonna be endless opportunities in the markets. Endless, I'm telling you right now, go back into the markets, back test, and look at how many opportunities were given to you. Look at how many you missed, look at how many you've taken. And then tell me that there's not endless opportunities because you will be completely incorrect. So seize on the good opportunities, await for the good opportunities, and stop believing that the opportunities will not come along anymore. I hope to see you in another video. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, join the Discord because soon it will lock down and I will not be live trading free anymore. So I wish you luck on your endeavors in trading and I'll see you in another one. Peace.